morning and welcome to welcome to Thoughts from the Word. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Amos, chapter 1. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 9. Hear now the word of our Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyre, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they delivered up a whole people to Edom, and did not remember the covenant of brotherhood. So I will send a fire upon the wall of Tyre, and it shall devour her strongholds. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. In this passage, Tyre, which is the capital city of Phoenicia, is now coming under fire and punishment because they, uh, as we read here, delivered the whole people to Edom. What we find in this passage is they are not the ones that captured them, but more than likely they purchased them from either the Philistines or the Syrians, and then in turn sold them or gave them to the people of Edom. They forgot the treaty that they had entered into with David and Solomon. Uh, in fact, no king of Israel or Judah had ever made war upon uh, Phoenicia. So they'd forgotten the brotherhood they had, the relationship they had with Israel, and had sold them into slavery. And for that, they were going to be punished. Now, again, what can we learn from this is, uh, well, one, sometimes the folks that we think are our allies and uh, our, our best friends still will hurt us. Uh, that doesn't always bring us comfort, but knowing that, we can uh, prepare for that. We also, again, see God in his awesome power and sovereignty stating that this other country did this to you all. I am God over them too, and I will punish them. And so we see that God works in every facet of our life. Even when we think he is not there, he is there, and he will be glorified. Let's seek to glorify him today. And remember that uh, we need to love others uh, as we love ourselves. Not expecting others to love us, we need to initiate that and uh, understand that sometimes even those who are closest to us are going to let us down at some time. But God never does, for he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's uh, read from the Valley of Vision. This one is entitled, Kept by God. Jehovah God, thou creator, upholder, proprietor of all things. I cannot escape from thy presence or control, nor do I desire to do so. My privilege is to be under the agency of omnipotence, righteousness, wisdom, patience, mercy, grace. Thou art love with more than parental affection. I admire thy heart, adore thy wisdom, stand in awe of thy power, abase myself before thy purity. It is the discovery of thy goodness alone that can banish my fear, allure me into thy presence. Help me to bewail and confess my sins. When I review my past guilt and am conscious of my present unworthiness, I tremble to come to thee. I, whose foundation is in the dust, I, who have condemned thy goodness, defied thy power, trampled upon thy love, rendered myself worthy of eternal death. But my recovery cannot spring from any cause in me. I can destroy, but I cannot save myself. Yet thou hast laid help on on one that is mighty, for there is mercy with thee, and exceeding riches in thy kindness through Jesus. May I always feel my need of him. Uh, let thy restored joy be my strength. May it keep me from lusting after the world, bear up my heart and mind in loss of comforts, enliven me in the valley of death, work in me the image of the heavenly, and give me to enjoy the first fruits of spirituality, such as angels and departed saints know. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, may we know you with the depth that we see expressed in the Valley of Vision. Father, may we know you even in the most painful moments of our life. Father, when we feel abandoned by our friends and our family, when we feel alone or maybe physically are alone even at this moment, I pray that we would know you, that your spirit is there with us, and that even when we don't know what to pray, your spirit intercedes on our behalf with sighs and groanings. Father, we, may we know the depth 
the width, and the riches of the glory in Christ Jesus in our lives. Father, I pray that you would be with all of our, our friends who are watching, listening, for our church family, for our community, and that you would begin moving in hearts, O Lord. Draw us to you and, and increase our faith, O God. Open doors for each and every one of us today to be uh, the gospel story before others. Father, move in our hearts and make us more like you. For the glory of your kingdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for uh, listening and watching today. I pray that the Lord will apply these words to your heart, these scriptures to your heart, and that you will be blessed and that you will glorify him today. May God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday.